What's going on YouTube? What's happening? It's Beretta19 back with y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, and drop as many comments as you can down below. Like and share the video. Woo-wee! Hope everybody is doing all right. Hope everybody is blessed. Hope everybody is doing excellent. I would have posted, I would have posted yesterday, you guys. I was just too tired and everything. I normally post about just about every day, as you guys know. But um, real quick, you guys. Uh if you're going through a bad patch in life and everything, if you're frustrated, if you're aggravated and everything, understand some of you guys, God loves you, God cares about you. Cash it cares on Jesus because he loves you and everything. Jesus died so we can live and everything, live life more abundantly. Never let nobody, remember, once you know who you are, can nobody tell you who or what you are, okay? Remember, it's not about what people down here on earth say about you, it's how what Jesus say about you. Okay, it don't, it don't matter who likes you if Jesus don't like you. No matter who dislike you if Jesus do like you. All right? So let's make sure we get that understood and everything. Whatever you're dealing with, whatever struggle that you're trying to overcome, whatever you're trying to accomplish in life and everything, you, can, you can't do it without Jesus' help. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Okay? That's plain and simple and everything. You ain't, we ain't doing nothing down here without Jesus' help. Okay? Stay motivated, you guys. You keep your drive alive. You keep your dream alive. Don't give up hope, you guys. Some good's coming around the corner. If you just lost a loved one and everything, the sense they're in a better place. They're in, they're in heaven and they're in the arms of Jesus. And if you keep the faith, you will see them one day. All right? Remember, always go with Jesus, regardless of what's going on around you. Go with Jesus and you'll be just fine. Okay? God got a blessing with your name on it. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys, real quick and everything. If you're the first time tuning in to my channel, please understand something. I talk about real shit on my channel. I ain't here to bullshit nobody. I ain't here to lie to nobody. I'm here to be honest with you, real and uncut. Okay? This is not rehearsed. This ain't nothing I've written down on the tablet. This ain't nothing I gave somebody, somebody gave me to say to you guys. This is coming straight from my heart to y'all. Okay? Also, I am not here to judge you. I'm not here to point the finger at you. I'm not here to make fun of you. I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. I, and I have no heaven and hell to put nobody in. But I am here to challenge you to be a better man or a better woman. Okay? Once you know better, you should do better. Okay? No excuses. All right? Somebody says some negative to you about my channel. Please tell them go straight to hell. Because I ain't got time for negative. If you don't want to hear it, take your ass on. Okay? I'm here to be honest and be real with people. We got enough bullshit on, in the world and everything. We don't need no more. All right? You want to hear real shit, you're on the wrong, uh, excuse me, you want to hear bullshit, you're on the wrong, uh, wrong channel. You want to hear real shit, you're on the right channel. All right, you guys, topic of conversation today, excuse me, topic of conversation is today, it is called, they are your ex for a reason. I repeat, they are your ex for a reason. You guys, let me tell you something, uh, starting off real quick, you guys may not know this or anything, but I've been singled. I've been single and everything probably about at least six or seven years now. Yeah, I, I had you know somebody that you know, I tried to date and everything, but it didn't work out right. And I had you know somebody I like and everything, but they don't like me back. So I've been single for, for a while and everything. Yeah, you're right, six or seven years. It's not that and everything that, it's not that I can't get somebody, but as you always say, you don't just want anybody. Okay, you want somebody that's compatible want somebody that you know respects you that loves you and care about you and everything you want nobody you know blabbering all your business all over the damn internet all over social media all out to their family and everything you want somebody who respect boundaries you want somebody that love god first and love you too see a lot of people and everything only deal with people because they do something for them not because they love them hell it might, might as well consider it a damn transaction so i'm just letting you guys know and everything in this world, y'all, you all have been in relationships at some point, whether it's in high school, hell, maybe even in, in elementary school and everything. But understand this, you guys. If you have an ex and everything, they're an ex for a reason. Y'all know, we, I'm pretty sure we all familiar with the game Tic-Tac-Toe. And you got to put all the three X's, and once they get all three of them in a row, you win. Or you get all circles in a row, you get all of them and you win. But here's the problem I have with that, you guys. When I see the, the, the letter X and everything, nine times out of ten, if you look at most stuff in working environments, that means it's a bad thing. 
if you see it on the door, that nine times out of mean, that nine times out of ten mean don't enter it. So they're your ex for a reason and everything. Maybe because they cheated on you. Maybe because they was verbally abusive. Maybe because they were abusive, man or woman, and everything. Um, maybe because they didn't know how to treat you right. Maybe because they, uh, excuse me. Maybe because they lied to you about something. Whatever the case may be. They're your ex for a reason, you guys. So understand that and everything. Leave people in the past. Do not go back to people who have hurt you. Do not go back to people who, I don't care if they man or woman, I'm speaking to both parties, okay? I'm not one of them speakers who just get on men or just get on women, watch the whole damn channel. I get on both, but men even harder. Don't go back to people, you guys, who put their hands on you in a disrespectful way. Don't go back to somebody, I don't care how pretty she is, I don't care how handsome he is, I don't care how bad her body is, I don't care how much money he got in the bank and everything. If somebody is making you feel unhuman, making you feel like you're not worth anything, make you feel that you're not loved or not respected and everything, why the hell would you fool with them? Why the hell would you fool with them? Oh, he changed and everything, that damn nigga ain't changed. He wanted to see it kind of show out in front of you and everything because he just wanted to get you back. Please understand some of you guys. You heard me say this term before. And this goes for, again, for men and women. If a snake bites you one time, what's stopping it from biting you again? For my new people and everything, Brandon, what the hell are you talking about? If, some, if a man put his hands on you, I mean, just hit you or you know, verbally abuse and everything, what's stopping it from doing it again? If a woman put her hands on you and everything, or throwing stuff at you, or hitting you and everything, what's stopping her from doing it again? Please understand some of you guys. Once that seal, I'm drinking some IC real right here, but once that seal is open on a bottle cap, you guys know this. And remember, once the seal is open on the bottle cap and everything, look how much easier it is. Once you open it for the first, you unloosen it for the first time, look how much easier it is to open back up. In other words, and everything. If it's, if it's that easy for them to hit you that time, what's stopping them from hitting you again? You can tighten this cap all day long and everything. I can still open it up a lot easier than when I can when I first open it. And something else about a bottle cap that's unique. When you open it for the first time, notice you hear like a tsh sound to it and everything, because that means fresh. That means ain't nobody had their hands in it, okay? So I'm just letting you guys know and everything, you want something fresh. You don't want nothing and everything that's been sitting out getting stale, okay? Don't just go get a man or get a woman because you're lonely. Don't just go get a man or get a woman and everything because they look cute and everything. You want something fresh, okay? And what I mean by fresh and everything, fresh in how they talk, fresh how they carry themselves, fresh attitude, fresh mindset. You don't want to be around the same dumbass people still acting the same dumbass way. Come on now, you're better than that. So understand that and everything. Leave your exes in the past. Leave them in the past. Excuse me. Leave them in the past. Because they're there for a reason. Remember and everything. You should always put your car in drive. You should, you, you should never reverse back down the same road that you was, was trying your best to get off of. Or get away from. Okay? I'm talking about, this is, like I said, this video is strictly for people who want to go back to their exes and all that and everything. Now, true enough, people can change. That's very true. But I'm just telling you and everything. If she cheated on you before and everything, what's stopping her from cheating on you again? If he cheated on you before, what's stopping her from doing it again? What's stopping her? So I'm letting you guys know and everything. Leave people in the past. I don't give a damn and everything. If it's uh, an ex-friend and they betrayed you or done you wrong, what's stopping them from doing it again? I'm not saying throw them away or they trash and everything because everybody makes mistakes. But I'm telling you, there's certain mistakes you cannot make when you are in a relationship with somebody, particularly a friend relationship or a boyfriend, a girlfriend, or a husband, wife relationship. Period. There's certain, there's certain things you should not do or say. So I'm telling you in everything. If she don't appreciate you then, man, what's, what's stopping her from appreciating you now? I'm just letting you know in everything. Choice is yours, man. But far as I concern everything, I won't deal with no I won't deal with any of my exes. And I have very few girlfriends and everything. So I'm very, very selective. And I wouldn't say picky, 
but at the same time, given the type of man I am and everything, it just certain, it, it's got to be a certain woman and everything that attracts my attention. Please understand something, man. A woman's beauty may attract your attention, but it's her character and her heart that keeps your attention. Always understand that, okay? So, what you guys got to get and everything, so what you guys got to get and everything, you only want people around you that's helping you grow. You don't want people around you that have let you go. You don't want people around you that dog you and talk about you. You want people around you that care about you. There's a girl right now I like and everything. Beautiful and everything. And she's actually a YouTuber. But she don't pay me no attention. And it's cool. That's why I've been, I've been rejected before. I ain't nothing new. But I'm just telling you and everything. You got to make sure that if you love somebody. And you're talking about getting with somebody. Make sure that they love you too. And love is genuine. See everybody. The problem is and everything. Everybody don't even know. So a lot of people don't even know what the hell love is. A lot of people and everything, you know, hey, I don't want to be in a relationship. You know, we can go half in on a kid and everything. But other than that, we, I still want to be able to, to, you know, mess with other women or mess with other men. What kind of bullshit is that? That sounds like a damn arrangement to me. So let's make sure we get things understood, you guys. They're your ex for a reason. Leave them there. Don't go there. They, wait, wait, how'd, how'd it go? A dog should return to his vomit? Or some, some shit like that they say and everything. Why are you hitting the reverse instead of keeping it in drive? Have you forgot how she hurt you, man? Have you forgot how he how she, how he hit you, woman? So understand that and everything. And understand this also. Whatever choice you make, if you do decide to go back with that man or with that woman and everything, and they turn out to be even worse than what they were before, what they were before and everything, you have nobody to blame but yourself. Sometimes you gotta just read the writing on the wall and understand and see people for who they are. That's how I am. I see you straight past the bullshit. Yeah, you're cute and everything, but what else What else are you? Right now and everything, somebody just threw some mud or some shit on you, and now you're ugly and everything. What can you provide? It's not always about what a man can provide. And everything. I ain't talking about no damn money. Can I trust you with my heart and everything that you won't break my heart? Can I trust you and everything while I'm at work and everything, you ain't got another man running through my house. Or you ain't playing me like a fool and manipulating me with sex in order to get money from me. So I'm just saying and everything. And same thing with the women and everything. Can she trust, can a woman trust you, man, to be faithful to her? If she being real and honest with you and everything, can she trust you that everything while she's at work and everything, you say you off this day and everything, you ain't messing with somebody at, uh, at and through, uh, that women running through the house. Or you might be messing with somebody at your job. Integrity, you guys, integrity is simply what you do when nobody is watching. Integrity is something you do uh, when nobody is watching. So whatever's done in the dark will come to the light. So I'll just let you guys know everything. All that playing games and playing with people's emotions and people's feelings. I don't care if you're man or woman. You're going to reap what you sow. And God sees everything you do. And a lot of people may say, well, Brandon, you single, man. You should be happy and everything. Yeah, I'm happy because I get a chance. I, like I said, I made a video a while back and everything. It's called The Pros and Cons of Isolation. And I, in there, I, well, I broke down pretty much and everything. There are benefits of being by yourself. There are benefits and everything saying that, you know, you can focus your attention more on stuff or go about this or go about that. There's more, there's a lot of benefits, but there's also disadvantages. As a man or as a woman, and everything, you might get lonely. And as a man or as a woman, everything, your body is designed and everything to long for that touch or that emotion or that feeling or that um, that uh, presence of the opposite sex. That's not you being wrongful or, or crazy or wicked. That's just you being a human being. So I'm just letting you guys know and everything. They're your ex for a reason. Okay? And something else. Stop bringing up your ex and with your present man or present woman and everything in front of them in order to get back at them in an argument. Stop doing that. Oh, you acting just like my ex. Well, my ex would used to do this. I didn't have to worry about that and everything. You don't say that and everything. That's wrong. Because what ends up happening and everything, you're going to either piss that man or that woman off. Because now you're comparing 
Never compare two men or two women. That's another problem I keep seeing and everything. One man goes screw another woman and he's married to a woman and everything. Now all of a sudden all men are like that. One woman go lie and cheat and play a man for his money and everything. All of a sudden all women are like that. That's wrong. That's bullshit. Quit charging everybody with one dumb ass crime. That's them that done that. That's them that got that woman pregnant and everything. Ain't nothing I done. So I'm just letting you guys know and everything. Get shit together. They're your ex for a reason. Leave them there. They can talk all that. Like I say again, people can't change. But remember, ask yourself this before you go back to them. What made you leave in the first place? I don't care if y'all were boyfriend and girlfriend, fiance, husband and wife. What made you leave in the first place? Remember, if there's no respect between y'all two, it ain't gonna work. If there's no genuine love between y'all two, it ain't gonna work. And more importantly, if there ain't God between y'all two, it ain't gonna work. Period. I'm just letting you guys know it and everything. Get your priorities together. Before you let anything or anybody or any job and everything, you let anything like that back in your life, ask yourself a question. Why did I leave in the first place? Why did I leave in the first place? Okay? It's Red 19, you guys. I hope y'all got some out of this and everything. Leave your exes in the past. I don't care if it's ex-job, ex-friend, or whoever. And if you if you thinking about going back to them, ask again, ask yourself, why did I leave in the first place? People, men and women want to be respected. Both men and women want to be respected. And people want to be loved. People want to be cared about. But the problem is we live in a screwed up ass world that keeps screwing up and everything and perverting everything that God put out. So I'm just letting you know and everything. Get your shit together. There are good men out here. There are good women out here. You wonder why you miserable in your relationship. I'm sorry because you messed around, got the wrong man or got the wrong woman. Plain and simple. Okay? Now all couples have disputes. All couples have problems and everything. We're not, we're not saying... That, you know, that that's not true. But at the same time and everything, if every day you coming home miserable, if every day she's coming home miserable or a man's coming home miserable and everything, apparently something's wrong. Something's wrong. A man is supposed to come into a woman's life and make her life easier. Whatever she's dealing with is to make her life easier. And a woman's supposed to come into a man's life and make his life easier. It's called partnership. That's what I'm saying. And it's like you guys, you formed, it's like you, you, you two then formed a, a colony together. And you work it together to make it work. It's like you formed a business together. And you working together. Maybe it's a partnership, not a sponsorship. Not for a man to do all this pain of all this stuff and everything. He don't even know where he stands at with you, woman. Not for a woman to be giving up uh, ass and everything to you, man. Or sex and everything, all that to you and everything. And she don't know where she stands with you. She don't know if you love her for real. She got a question that do you care about her. She got a question why you talk to her like, like that and everything. The shit is wrong. The only reason you should be getting married and everything is for love. Marriage is not over. Marriage is not overrated. Marriage is not wrong. Only time marriage should become wrong and everything is between two punks and two dykes. That's when marriage is wrong. But marriage between man and woman is not wrong. America has made it out to be wrong. The time that marriage and everything become wrong and everything, like I said, is when somebody get married, but they get married for the wrong reasons. If they get married and everything because they want to have sex. They get married and everything because he got a nice house, he got a good job, he make a lot of money. But as I've said before and everything, if, as a man and everything, woman, well, I can get sex anywhere. You can get good sex anywhere. Hey, you got some damn hookers that'll talk to you better and everything than some people who just left God house. Vice versa, man. A woman can get a man with money anywhere. You know what I mean? You for flashing money. You think you got a nice car. You got all this and everything. That's supposed to win a woman. No. Remember, a woman's body attracts a man's eyes. A man's money everything and success attract a woman eyes but you want to know what keeps their attention their character a man's character a woman's character a man's heart a woman's heart that's what keeps them there 
There's a lot of marriage. That's why I'm wanting to hear all this bullshit about men versus women bullshit. There's a lot of couples, black couples, multiple couples and everything are together, married, and got beautiful kids and live a beautiful life. No, they may not be rich, but they live beautiful. You couldn't tell. That's like I said, everything, all this talking, everything, number a bunch of damn gossip. That's all that shit is. So just let you guys know and everything. Leave your ex where they at. Leave your ex where they at. All right, it's Brother 19. Catch you on the next video.